In this episode, I experimented with 3D printers to make molds for a concrete product line. My friends over at the Urban Animal Scientist asked me if I could design a better dish for dog food. So I turned to the handsomest dog I know, Fletcher, and watched him have a meal. His typical dog dish has straight edges, which makes getting all the food a little bit difficult without moving around the bowl. Bowls with sloped edges often tip over, resulting in messes. So I wanted to design a dish with easy access to the food that wouldn't tip over. So I made a 3D model using 123D. I sculpted it with Mesh Mixer and printed the prototype with my MakerBot. I sanded the prototype with some fine grade sandpaper. To make the silicone mold, I glued a piece of Tupperware down to a laminate board. I cut out the bottom of the Tupperware and glued in the prototype with a few dots of hot glue. I then mixed the two parts of Moldstar 30 together and poured them into the mold. Once the silicone is cured, you can remove the Tupperware mold and pull out the prototype. The silicone mold is now ready for concrete. I use Quickcrete countertop mix. These types of applications, vibrating out the bubbles is essential. After curing for about 24 hours, I was ready to remove the concrete dish. I sealed the concrete with a countertop wax finish. I used a buffing wheel and my cordless drill to finish off the dish. The flexible silicone molds are reusable, so I can make as many of the dishes as I want. I also made a water dish to accompany the food dish. For more detailed instructions, check out my website and follow me on social media.